Hey guys, I'm going to show how to make a child theme for WordPress. So basically, um, which one did I use? Yeah, 2013. So I'm going to activate it. 2013. And this is what 2013 looks like. Let's go back. Um, first of all, we're going to create a new folder. I created this folder called 2013 child. You can name whatever you want. You also could put uh, whatever PNG you want. I call it the child name, whatever, doesn't matter. And then basically, you'll be. You can look at the style CSS in here. You just go in here, bam, and it'll show the CSS. And then you can modify whatever CSS you want on it to whatever liking you want. So since CSS is like, you know, well, first of all, I'll create a CSS file, like a style CSS file. So I'll create a style.css file in here. So I have one. Uh, so yeah, I create this file and create this file. And then it's me at import dot dot. Dot dot means up two levels. So up two levels, so up, up, and then it directs to this. So you're importing from this. Alright, get it means up, 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 go into this, and look at this file. So you're importing from this file. So it's at import, dot, 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 name of the theme folder, and the style. You can apply this to anything. You can apply this to this one, same thing. So I'll just call it like 2014 and target this style. And basically, once that's made, you can activate it. Activate it, and then your child will be this is your baby, your child. Oops. Activate your child. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, there. It shows up, so it's imported. Um, what happens if you don't? Here, I'll just comment it out. That does not work. I'm dummy. Comment it out. There we go. See what happens? Oh no, it's broken! Alright, sorry. <laughs> and then we uncomment it out. It works! Um, I'm using WAMP, so this is my local server, so local host. Um, what else can we do? Uh, we can inspect the script with the Chrome. So we could go developer tools. For example, you want to inspect, for example, you want to change this text, whatever color. Widget title h3 Okay, um, I don't know how many issues with it. Um, it's gonna be. It's. 
h1 dot entry title color red Let's try that I'll probably turn red did not turn red hmm. There it goes. And that how that's how that works. So you inspect it. This one is P tag, so right here the P tag. I change all the P to also no padding and might as well color blue and then it'll all turn blue there's blue so that's what you do you inspect the element and yeah Inspect the element and yeah, and then go in the CSS and modify it since I don't really care anymore. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do. We can actually let's do something cool. Uh, what is this? Header master site. Site header actually is right there. Copy. Let's make a display button. Display. None. It's displayed none. Oh my gosh. CSS is so strong, guys. Alright, I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop your name. The D bag. But don't do that. You do that, it's gonna load and it make things slower. And they're not going to see it. It's really evil. So don't do this. This is very evil. Yeah. Uh, I want to bring it back. Alright, I'm done with this tutorial and uh, how to create a child in uh, WordPress in the back. Alright, bye guys.